Ashley here, and I am here with a small little um, book haul, and I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys because when I have a bad day or I'm feeling bad, I like to talk to you guys and film a video, and it makes everything that I'm feeling, you know, get out of my chest. Um, yeah, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> um, I got into a little bit of a discrepancy with my um, boyfriend's father. I didn't really say anything. I just heard some comments that were being made about me. And I disconnected my phone. And then I came in here and I punched my wall, my door. Which isn't the best thing. but um, And it was towards my weight. And it, it, you know. It, it really hurts me how nasty. And how mean people can be. And you know. I've, I'm on this track of losing weight. I've lost 9 pounds. I've gained 2 back. You know, it's going to happen and I just, I'm so hurt and so just upset because here I am trying to do good and trying to stay on this track of healthiness and get everything in my life straightened out and then you just get some jerk that pushes everything back. You take two steps forward, five steps back. Like, it's just, it just really, really, really upsets me and it really hurts my feelings and it just, it makes me, the like, think how cruel someone can be to say those mean things about somebody's weight when they don't know what they're going through. They don't know if it's something they can't handle, if it's something that causes, is the reason why they are that way. They don't know. And for someone to be so judgmental and so mean to somebody about that, it's just, it just, it hurts my feelings. And it brings me to think about humanity and how there's not really a lot of humanity in the world. And it just, it hurts. And I just kind of wanted to do a little rant of how I felt. Um, if any of you guys have ever felt like that, feel like you're doing so, so good and then some jerk just screws it up and makes you want to just say, screw it all. And according to him, I am a big fat ass and I'm huge and I eat all the food in the house and everything else when that's not the case. But I mean, it is what it is. Um, I got a package from Walmart, an unexpected package from Walmart, because they said they lost my package, and then it came here. There's three books. I got Fatal Vision by Joe Mc McGinnis. It says, Fatal Vision is an electrifying true story of Dr. Jeffrey McDonald, the handsome Princeton-educated physician convict convicted of... Savagely slaying his young pregnant wife and two small children. Murders he vengefully denies committing. So it sounds really good. It's supposed to be true. It's a big chunker of a book. Um, this was on the books on Barnes & Noble. If you like... I think what it said. If you like making a murderer, you'll definitely love these books. So that was one of them. And then I got Ounce of Hope by Sophie Jackson. I'm so excited to read this. This is the second book in her series. The first one was A Pound of Flesh, and I loved it and devoured it, and I couldn't wait for this to come out. Um, this follows another one of her characters from A Pound of Flesh. You don't really hear about Max. Um, he's had drug habits. He lost his, his parents, his unborn son, his relationship's ending. He hits rock bottom. He's going into rehab. He finds that painting helps him get his anger out and everything and helps him relate I guess and he meets this girl and he likes her but yet her past is kind of guarded and I can't wait to read it I love Sophie Jackson um is it Sophia S Sophia Jackson um she's becoming one of my new favorite author buys automatically so definitely pick well don't pick up this book this is the second book but pick up a pound of flesh if you haven't heard about it i have a review just check out my channel you'll definitely see a review of that so i did do a review on it and then i got passengers by alexander brecken this is a beautiful book first of all like my lighting is crap but the bottle and the ship i mean the, the bottle in the city and then it's tiffany blue and then we have this tree and it says passenger i love this blue um, this is about time travel, and she also wrote, it's over here, The Darkest Minds, which if you guys want to join me, I'm going to be doing a read-along with this with Shannon, um, on Sunday, we're going to start our read-along, so if you want to join, just grab the book and read along with us. Um, so this one's about time travel, and it's about, I think it's at E-T-T-A, how do you say that? Eddie? Etta? Eddie? 
Um, it's about her and how she's thrust into this real, this world, and how Nicholas, she's on this guy's Nicholas ship, and that's all I really know. I mean, it's supposed to be really good. I probably will pick this up maybe after reading um, The Darkest Minds. I'm not sure. I really, I think the book that I'm going to pick up and read is this one, because I've been dying for this one to come out, and I need something to just get me out of this funk that I'm in about reading and sadness and all that, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye!